There you go. Is there trouble with Springfield's finest? Nah, just the last couple weeks with the Stalker case and all that have been pretty brutal, so... Mm -hmm. what, you nabbed the wrong guy? I didn't say that. I didn't have to, Frank. Nah, just a couple loose ends aren't making any sense. I'm sorry, it must be frustrating, huh? I'll tell you what's frustrating. It's that drug that we gave Ken Norris is missing from the evidence missing? room. Are you, like, stolen missing? I hope not. Yeah, this is serious business. It's a powerful drug. If that's missing, we're in big trouble. Don't and Terry and I are responsible for don't it. Don't be negative. It's not going to come to that. I hope not. See you later, Dad. Thanks be for the Be careful call. out there. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? <laughs> no, not now, darling. Are you worried about this wedding? The cost, the food, spending the day with Alan Spaulding? Spaulding's grandiose wedding plans couldn't be further from my mind for now. All right, then tell me what it is. I just can't shake this feeling. This, this dog yes. feeling? Yes. Oh, come on. We've been all through this. There's nothing to worry about. The guy's in jail. There hasn't been I, anything since then. I know, but it just... doesn't feel right. This... Buzz Cooper, you're having a problem believing that all of the family mayhem is behind us. That's your problem. So you think I'm seeing trouble where there isn't any? Yes. Okay. Even I do find it hard to believe, but it is true that all the problems of our dear friends are behind them. Matt, Vanessa, Reva, Josh, Harley, okay. they're all fine. Oh, believe me. I guess you're right. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the fight we had today. I know, I know. I've uh, been meaning to talk to you about that. You know, I know that what Dinah has done is completely unbelievable and horrible. And, but I can't just desert her. I mean, you don't expect me to no, do that, No, I do don't you? expect you to do that. And I, um... You know, Vanessa, I just hate the things that Dinah does, but I'm glad that you and confided me about it. And you don't have to worry. I'm not going to say anything to anybody about dying in the fire. Good. I, uh... I know I've been really tense and horrible and cranky. And I've made... I've made mistakes these last days. But I... I just... I would never want to do anything or mean to do anything that hurt you. I know you wouldn't, and I don't want to do anything to hurt you. I'm so sorry I got so angry, but... But you're Irish, so yeah, well, you have to get angry. I know, but I don't like to get angry at you. <laughs> we just need to spend more time together. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like this. Yeah. Just the two of us. Funny. Cassie, I'm not going to the spa. And even if I were, I wouldn't be chasing after you. Now, now I'm trying to do something nice here. I'm trying to give you an opportunity to get away with your sister for a bit of time, and, and, and you're freaking out on me. What Look is this about? This. Gourmet meals, a sauna, and a steam room. Does this place sound like heaven or what? <laughs> Wait. Josh is sending us? I mean, just the two of us are going? Well, yeah. I mean, can you see him in a mud mask with cucumber slices on his eyes? <laughs> 
No, I don't know what to think. <laughs> well, come here and look at this. I mean, really. Look, I mean, it's, it's incredible. The size of the rooms, they're huge, and the descriptions of the meals makes my mouth water, even if they are low-fat. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm gonna run upstairs. I'm gonna check on the kids. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Look at this place. Reva, I'm sorry. I, I know that I've been a pain lately. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? With everything you've been through with heart, you're entitled. That's why when Joshua mentioned this, I jumped right on it. Everything's okay between you and Josh? Honey, I know you've been worried about him, and I've been worried about him, too. But he's been under a lot of stress lately. I just... Uh, he's back to his old, cute, sexy self. <laughs> Good, I'm glad to hear that. <gasps> Look at this. Look at that. They have... An all-you-can-eat, fat-free dessert bar. <laughs> Does that sound good? <laughs> I'm imagining all this myself. What? What did you say? Oh boy, I'm in trouble now. Uh-oh. Told the kids about you going away to the spa, and they're making all kinds of plans. They think they're going to get away with murder while you're away. And would they be right? Absolutely. In <laughs> fact, I'm thinking the two of you should probably go upstairs and start packing before I uh, have a change of heart about this whole thing okay. about watching the kids. We should go before he changes his mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about what I said earlier and what I was thinking. Thanks. Thanks for sending us to the spa. It's okay. I just... I just want to give you a chance to, 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 to forget about Hart for a couple of days, that's all. And hopefully for Reva to forget that Annie ever existed. In my dealings with her during my search for Annie, I found her both... Well, fascinating and a little unsettling. Well, I'll give you unsettling if you'll give me what clued you in. Well, I take it you don't like the woman. I'm not going to say anything because I'm not getting involved. But I will say that I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. Mm. Well, Harley has the idea that <clears throat> Detective DeMarco is after her brother Frank. It's not an idea. It's actually... I find that surprising. I, I don't know why she would be interested in Frank Cooper. And what's wrong with my brother? Nothing is wrong with your brother. He just doesn't seem to be her type, that's all. And you... Never mind. I've said too much already. Well, I'm... Let, let me ask you something, Dad. I'm, I'm actually really curious. What is it that you find so interesting about Detective DeMarco? When I first met Terry, she uh, struck me as... as an obnoxious detective, but uh, nothing more, nothing less. Yeah? And now? Well, lately... I've seen another side of her. And this may sound a little strange, but uh, it's as if our paths have crossed somewhere. Look, I, um, I know what you two are thinking. You're thinking that I'm trying to replace Annie with Terry. Well, you couldn't be farther from the truth because no one will take Annie Dutton's place in my heart. No one. Dr. Miller says a subject has to be dosed on a regular basis, and that's what's going to happen. No idea what hit you. Marcos, Cooper, uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Damn it. Doesn't he know I have better things to do with my time than police? Hi, come in. Hey, what's up? What's up with your pager? I've been trying to page you all day. Oh, the battery's dead and I just haven't had a chance to replace it. What's up? I'm still worried about that missing drug. 
Believe me, so am I. Yeah, I know it's late and all that, but uh, I figured since we're off duty, maybe we could put our heads together and find it before the chief finds out about it. Frank, you don't have to make up a cover story. I know exactly why you're here. What the hell are you thinking? Y you mean you really came here on business? Of course I'm here on business. I just thought that maybe you were yeah, trying just stop. to... DeMarco, just stop right there. Okay, look. We got our wires crossed. I'm really sorry. 